Hello and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Now today I'm going to be talking about knowledge of a pond and how to apply that to a bigger body of water. Because I know a lot of people say, oh well a pond is just a mini lake. Well, not really. Most ponds are very uniform. Uh, either they're shallow, either they're deep. Um, the water clarity is probably going to be the same throughout the pond. Um, uh, the depth is probably going to be similar. Um, structure is going to be the same. It's going to have a lot of wood or it's going to have a lot of grass or it's going to have a lot of reeds. But when you get to big impoundments and big bodies of water, they're very diverse. I mean, in a pond like this, the water temperature is probably the same throughout the whole thing. In a big lake, one end could be 10 degrees warmer than the other end. Uh, one end could be clear, the other end could be dirty. So a way to take your knowledge of this pond, probably a pond you catch a lot of fish in, and apply it to a big body of water and probably a new big body of water is to search out coves that have the same characteristics as the pond you usually fish. Once you find a cove that has similar characteristics, either really shallow or really deep, or has lily pads or has weeds, and just imagine a dam cutting off the opening and just work that cove like you would your pond. Um, fish are probably gonna be oriented in the same places. They're probably gonna uh, hit the same kind of lures because that cove is sort of pond in its own right except for the opening that leads it to the rest of the lake but the fish are going to be in that area are going to be pretty much positioned and have the same characteristics as your local pond so it's a really good way to eliminate a lot of water until you know you start fishing this uh, big impoundment more and start learning other areas where the fish are well, that's just a good way to, to give yourself a head start get yourself out there start catching some fish on a bigger impoundment and all through the knowledge you have of your local little pond. I hope this helps. Until next time. Told you it looked like a perfect spot. There we go. Another nice pond slipped bath.